Hi guys, uh, Terry here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the solutions to question 8, I think it is. Yeah, question 8 of the January 2020 um, people, right? Uh, okay, so the first part here, they want us to solve a pair of simultaneous equations, right? Now, if you notice something here, we have an equation here which is nonlinear. And we know this because there's a y squared in it. So I'm going to call that equation 1. The second equation, I'm going to call that equation 2. And clearly we can see that's a linear equation. So we're going to substitute. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So what, we are, what we're going to end up with is y squared plus 2y plus 11 is equal to 5 minus 3y right so let's carry everything on one side because as we can see this is a quadratic so this is going to be y squared plus 2y plus 3y right plus 11 minus 5 so I've carried everything across to the left hand side so this is going to be y squared plus 5y um, 11 minus 5 is 6 is equal to 0 and then we need to factorize this so this is going to be two brackets here so this is going to be, um, the only way we can get this to work is by putting plus 3 here and plus 2 here, right? So we've just worked out what our 2y values are, right? So we can say either um, y plus 3 is equal to 0, so y is equal to minus 3, right? Or we can say that y plus 2 is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 2. Right? So those are my two y values. Now we need to figure out what the x values are. So what I would do, I would substitute it into my linear form. So we're going to say when y is equal to minus 3, right? x is going to be equal to 5 minus 3 by minus 3. So this here is going to be 5 minus 3 by minus 3 is going to give me plus 9. So this is going to be 14, right? So this one solution here, x is equal to um, 14 and y is equal to minus 3. So this here represents one solution. Let's find the other solution now. So when y is equal to minus 2, x is going to be equal to 5 minus 3 by minus 2. So this is going to be 5 minus 3 by minus 2 is going to be plus 6. So this here is going to be 11. So therefore my second solution is going to be x is 11 and y is equal to minus 2. So that's my second solution here, right? So that's part A. Now in part B now, we want to, so they give us a function and they want us to write it in this format here. Once you see this format here, what they're really asking us to do is to complete the square, right? Now, there are different ways that people complete the square, right? And um, CXC is not looking for any specific way. Once you are able to write it in a format that is easy to work with, right? So here's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to start off with 4x squared minus 8x minus 2. That's what you're going to start off with, right? Now, what we can do in the, at the start here, we can factor out 4, right? Um, so let's factor this first term here, right? So this will be 4, open brackets, x squared minus 2x, right? Minus 2. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to replace this middle piece here right and to do that right I'm gonna say x minus 2 squared right is gonna be x squared right minus 4x plus 4 right now wait one second what did I do here oh sorry one sec Sorry about that, right? 
Yeah, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna write this as x minus one squared, right? What we normally do, we normally divide this by two here, right? So x minus one squared, right, can be written as x squared minus two x plus one, right? Now, if you notice something here, right, this here, right, is equal to this. But I wanna replace, I wanna replace this x squared minus two x, right? To do that, it's gonna be four, open brackets, x minus one squared, right? But I have to remove this, this here. I need to remove that plus one. So this is gonna be minus one, right? Um, minus two, right? That's what we're gonna get there. So when I simplify this, right? But this here is all of this, right? So when I simplify this, I'm gonna get four, right? Open brackets, x minus one squared, minus four, minus two. And the final answer is gonna be four, x minus one squared, minus six, right? Like I said, there are different ways um, students work this problem. It's totally up to you. Whatever method you've learned, stick to that method, right? Um, okay, so I've written it in a format here now, right? So it's four open brackets, x minus one squared minus six, right? The next thing that they want, so that's part one. And part two now, they want us to state the minimum value of f of x, right? So the minimum value of f of x, right, is typically whatever k is. So in this case here, um, it's minus six, so that's it. It's minus six, that's it, right? And the third part, right, determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. To do that, all we need to do, whatever the bracket is here, you're gonna put that bracket equal to zero and solve for x, right? And this is it here. This is my equation for my axis of symmetry. Right, so guys, I actually think I feel that you guys are gonna get a question like this in your paper, right? For 2022, right? May, June 2022. So please pay attention to this particular question, right? The next part of the question here, we have a speed time graph, right? Um, you have a car and it's traveling through three different stages. First thing they want, they want you to determine the acceleration in stage two. So this is stage two here. Anytime you have a horizontal line, the gradient of a horizontal line is zero. So if you wanna get the acceleration from a speed time graph, we need to find the gradient. So in this stage two here, your acceleration is actually zero meters per second squared. There's no calculation there, right? For stage two, um, you wanna figure out what is the acceleration in this section here. So all we need to do is to find the gradient. That's all we need to do, find this gradient here, right? So this point here is 32, 12, and this point here is 40, zero. So we need to find that gradient, right? So we have 32, 12, and 40, zero, right? So this is x1, this is y1, and this is x2, and this is y2. So your acceleration, right, which is simply the gradient, is gonna be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is gonna be zero minus 12 over 40 minus 32. So this is gonna be minus 12 over, 40 minus 32 is gonna give me eight. So this is minus three quarters meters per second squared. Right, so that's gonna be my um, acceleration in that last stage there. All right, I'm gonna make sure that's correct. Uh, Thirty-two twelve. Oh, 
Hold on. Eh? This is not. Right? This is actually minus 3 over 2. Right? So my bad. It's supposed to be 3 over 2. Right? So minus 3 over 2 meters per second squared. Right? So that takes care of this question. Right? Like I said, guys, um, please hit like and subscribe. Right? Um, if you all are interested in um, online classes for maths, chemistry, physics, and art maths, you can always send me a WhatsApp on this number. All right? Take care, guys.